Hey there, and welcome to our tutorial on how to import users using CSV. For this, we'll use a brand new account. Before we start our import, we must create our company infrastructure within the Manage User Details section. This is where we can see all of the information I can fill out for my team. For instance, I have added a location field dropdown with my employees' locations. To add more fields, click on Add Field at the bottom. After you've created your infrastructure, we can begin importing our employees. Click on Add Users at the top right, select Import Users, and download the CSV template. Now, let's see what it looks like. The columns that must be filled are first name, last name, country code, and mobile phone number. As shown earlier, I have also created a location field for my company in my account. Now let's import our users. When importing, we have three options. The first is to add new users. This is the best choice to add new employees. The second option is to add new and update existing users. If we are adding new employees but also want to make changes to previously added employees, finally, we can ignore new users and just update existing users. In our case, we'll choose the top option. Now, let's add our CSV file. Since everything looks good, we can jump to the next screen to review the information we have imported. If things are looking right, we can continue and add our employees. Finally, to send a text message invitation to your employees to join the application, click on this button and follow the steps. Some common things to note. If you have a drop-down list, the information in Excel must match the exact wording. In addition, if you want to add someone's direct manager, you need to make sure you have added the managers beforehand to the account. In addition, if you want to archive employees in bulk, you can use the same template and add a one in the template column for the employees you wish to archive. Import the CSV again and your employees will be archived. For further assistance, please check our Help Center for more articles and videos.